My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb, joined by Big Dumb uh. as we record this on the eve, morning eve of Yankees playoff baseball. Jake, how you doing? Nice shirt, nice necklace, nice necklace, nice necklace. Three necklaces for Jake. <laughs> I guess you could say we're joined by two Big Dumbs. <laughs> Who's the second? Who did Zach put on the green screen? <laughs> Jimmy, your sister got married. To the love of her life, even better. I've been to a lot of weddings. They're getting married to the wrong person. This one felt right. I would have been happy either way. And it's your birthday today. Mom, it's my birthday. Would and you hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Zach, it's, Dave Matthews. It's my mother-in-law's birthday, too. Happy birthday to my mother-in-law more than you. Zach, cut all of that. Let's go to the sports. Baseball season is here. Hockey season starts tonight. Don't care. Sorry, guys. Horrible timing. Go blue shirts. Baseball is here. We are done with the wild card. Putting that in our rear view, Jim. And kind of the highlight from the wild card was Eargate. That was a whole thing. Zach, make some noises. His ears were slick and the spin rate was up. I don't really mind that buck chat. It's hilarious. Right. It worked. Uh, I mean, between... Throwing a gun on your birthday, dude. <laughs> awesome. Confetti pops out. <laughs> Stinks. <laughs> I don't mind that Buck checked, but you do look like a loser. And the way Buck's post game, it sounded very much like he was told to check from upstairs. Yes. It is weird. Musgrove didn't say what was on. He said, I got him. A, I don't know what was on my ears. I got a massage earlier. It's a uh, suspect. Someone's on you. Like, say it was Vaseline because you're cold. Something was on your ears because ears don't look like that. No. Look at this. Jim, what was this almost a breakdown you're telling me about? Because I had no clue. King Charles, right? Guy didn't want to be king his whole life. Oh, now he's king. Yeah. He has to sign papers, and he signed the wrong date. It's tough. And it's tough to remember dates, but King Charles hasn't had to remember what day it is his whole never. life. He's never cared at all what the day was. He has people that tell him the day. So that's what happened. He was like, well, is it the 12th? And he was like, it's the 13th, sir. 13th, sir. And then he goes, ah, oh, shit, bloody hell. Oh, God, it ruined it. And then his wife, mm. is she a queen? That's rude to take the queen title so quick, I feel like. Ooh, like queen on deck. Loading queen, you know, like a loading queen, like a loading screen. Anyway, she's like, and you signed 12th earlier too. You signed 12th earlier. And he's like, okay, lady, I'm the fucking king. Yeah. And so then he takes the pen that's leaking ink. Yeah. Because rich people think pens should be leaking ink. What? That's one of the scenarios. Can we get a quill pen? Yes, Cool pen. Sam. Pens is one of the scenarios where rich people are tricking themselves into using just much worse pens. Oh, okay. I see. Someone's like, I got a this nice fancy pen. pen. Look at this nice pen. It sucks. It pen. leaks ink. So he takes the leaky pen and he gives it to his wife. He's like, don't correct me in front of everyone ever again. Right. And then she's got it all over her hands and he's all mad. He he's passes an inky pen? Like this. He goes, oh, I hate this. And he passes the inky pen to his wife and then she's got it in her hand. He's the king, Jake. Oops. Classless. I did it again. <laughs> Isaac. Let's go back to the sports. People are sick of the king. Maybe the best story from this year's sports world. We get it a couple days later. <laughs> Seven years later, she works as a waiter and he doesn't know. The story never changes. Just the names and faces like Tommy. <laughs> Jim, know what you can bet on? Stuff at DraftKings. Go over there. They're a partner with us. I won. I officially won my bet. Judge to lead the league in homers. I won a bunch of bets, too. Don't see me talking about it. People are dancing. Dancing in the streets, but not the streets at a Toyota dealership. At a car dealership. This is a really wholesome and awesome video. Sports matter. Do the little white letters you use. Dumb little kid font. And they're dancing in the, and they're trying to be quiet. They're fist pumping. And then the fourth guy walks over and you think he's going to break it up and he joins. It's a wholesome, it's a good video. It's a seven and a half out of... Oh, <laughs> the noise that made. It's a seven Blood. and a half out of 10. And him joining the party is just as perfect as it gets. That's a good time. All right, let's get into the... Can I ask you about the not sports? This is not sports, what I'm about to tell you. It's about a shapely man, uh, Super Mirio. A lot of people have been pronouncing it Mirio lately. Mirio. His butt's sliced off. The buttless guy. It's messed up. And then people are complaining like, wow, Mirio's got a big butt. Mm. People say Mario. 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 We've known two people without butts. My ex, Steph, and our buddy, Ken. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Buttless. Buttless. Uh, <laughs> I have an uncle. Uncle Beep. He's no butt. <laughs> also buttless? There are people there that got big gut, no butt. <laughs> And that's kind of what they're making, Thank Mario. Thank God I've got a little bit of a butt. Because yeah. if I was a gut, no butt, 
that'd be game over for me. It's kind of like a baby. Uh, I think James might not have a my butt. Family's I don't have think James butts. has a butt. Send in pictures of your baby's butt. <laughs> This Mario Mario's making a lot of people are talking. Yeah, it looks awful. Zach's like genuinely sad about it because he's a gamer, he's a horn dog, and he's just like, this isn't it. Someone says, well, you got to fit down the pipes. Yeah, but a butt isn't the problem there. Mm. A butt is the mechanism that lets you slide down bump, the pipe. Bump a little bit. You want me to slide down a pipe? I saw a four hundred foot water slide the other day. That wasn't great. <laughs> Did I'll agree that was pretty bad. It didn't feel good. You're much better than that. It's the employee of the week. This employee was so sad. This employee was so sad. Jolly wins because his team lost. The Mets lost. Dude, I am trying to think a team that was just like first place, four games lost to the division, and then two games season ended. Like, that's about as bad as it gets. Congrats, Jolly. One more time. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. Head to the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and new customers use promo code JOMBOY and receive $200 in free bets if their bet hits after placing a $5 pregame football wager. That's promo code JOMBOY only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Anyway, I met a guy who, who knows one of the guys. I met a guy who met the guy. You met the guy. Who so met I was in the, the airport. Guy came up to me and said, hi. And I said, <clears throat> talk, he's a Mariners fan. He went to Seattle for a watch party. I said, did you see that video about the car dealership? And he was like, yeah, I actually ran into one of those guys after the game. He lost his keys. I lost my phone. And we helped each other find both. Wow. And the guy in the red shirt at the car dealership. I met the guy that you met, red shirt dancer. Your dad's birthday tomorrow. Yeah. Well, save that. Did your dad tell you? Mm. It's 11.50 on the couch last night, little, and uh, I know your normal speeches, there's a, a lot of loved ones in my life's birthdays are right around my birthday, Yes, so you, you, you know, you got to sort through them every year. It's really remember 10 which, through 13, I have seven birthdays. You got to remember which witch is which. Bullshit. So I was on the couch saying which witch is which, so at 11.50, I texted your dad, hey, not sure if it's in the next 10 minutes or if it's a day early, but happy birthday. He replied. Text with my dad. Texting with your dad last late last night. Do I have him saved his dad? No, Mr. Mr. O'Brien. I said, forgot if it's in the last 10 minutes or on the 12th, but happy birthday. He said, my first greeting for my B-Day. Thank you. It's the 12th. Yeah. My grandma, you, mother-in-law, my dad, my uncle. Michelle Wee. Michelle Wee. D.D. Gregorius is Michelle my Wee. birthday. Put a random Michelle playing the Wee. 